How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you all part one of Moments Extreme completed. I am going to be going over some tips and tricks on how to complete some of these missions. SDS did launch this brand new program live today around 12 p.m. Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern. So you are able to redeem this 98 overall Jim Edmonds as well as this 98 overall Andrew Miller. And the only way to get this Andrew Miller is to complete the first set and the only way to complete the program in its entirety is to get that Jim Edmonds first and then go ahead and complete the second part of Moments Extreme. So the first moment that you're going to have to do is this mission right here where you have to close the game out three consecutive times against the Yankees on Hall of Fame difficulty with your Diamond Dynasty closer. And the thing about this mission is you can't give up a hit or anything like that. So I am going to be going up against the Yankees with Bruce Suter. I think that he's my best reliever. He is in my closing role as well. Uh, the thing about this Bruce Suter is that a lot of these Yankees players that you're going to be facing have quirks that also combat against Bruce Suter's pitches. So guys like uh, uh, Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, they both have fastball and curveball quirks. So you have to keep that in mind as well when you attack these guys. That's something to keep in mind while you're uh, selecting your pitches and kind of attacking these hitters. They are going to hit the baseball. I would recommend putting the guys out in the field with the best fielding because you are not going to hit in this moment. I mean, you can always mix up your team a couple different times throughout, but this is a good strategy in order to attack some of these. So we do get the first two saves on lockdown, but uh, you won't be able to complete this mission unless you get the third save. So luckily we get the line out there. And I guess uh, if you're completing some of these moments that you're uh, in a series of missions, you can go ahead and dashboard out of them. Like for example, if I was to give up a hit and it, I was able to dashboard before the hit registered, then I might be able to uh, go ahead and start the mission in the same game without it losing progress or the game actually counting. So hopefully that made sense as I almost choke away that mission. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton almost hit one out. Luckily, Willie Mays is there at the warning track to catch the ball with Diamond Fielding. The very next mission that you have to complete is a series of game missions with Reggie Jackson. I guess you can also use the strategy that I was just talking about in the dashboarding, but I, I didn't do that. I just went ahead and played the games out. If I did not get an extra base hit or a couple base hits here in the first game, then I would go ahead and restart it. That would just be the best way to approach this. You want to try and knock out some of the hits and extra base hits right away. Luckily, you don't have to hit home runs if you're not able to. Doubles will be just fine for this. I also uh, was power swinging. That was a power swing home run there. As well as uh, most of these at-bats, I will go ahead and power swing in moments against the computer. Depending on the difficulty. If it's on All-Star or Hall of Fame, I will go ahead and power swing. Uh, I would probably power swing less on Hall of Fame just because... It's a little bit tougher to hit, but I was able to get a couple extra base hits there uh, to start this mission off, and it is a series of missions, so if you don't do that, I would just restart, hop right into it. You will be facing a righty the first time, and then a lefty the second game. So I think it is important to complete at least something in the mission related, or something in the series of missions against the right-handed pitcher. That's the side that Reggie Jackson excels against. As well as you only get a limited time or a limited amount of games for this. Uh, I wouldn't recommend dashboarding unless you're on the last game of the moment. So uh, it's something also to keep that in mind as well. But I mean you are going to line out against the computer. You are going to hit the ball well and not get rewarded. I think that also is another reason why I like to power swing. If I'm going to square the ball up I'm going to try and hit a no doubter in order to complete some of these missions. But if not then hopefully I can hit the ball into the gap like I did right here. And uh, as you get down to the last couple of games, the pressure is on. You have to really square the ball up, take a lot of pitches, have some good at-bats, and the computer will throw you a lot of balls in this situation off the plate, and you will have to try and take those. And at the same time, they might even walk you. So if you get into a 3-0 count, go ahead and take a power swing at something, try and uh, keep that bat alive. But I was able to... Uh, get myself into a pretty good situation to complete this moment. I only had a couple more base hits left, and uh, I was in, coming down to the last couple of games. I was actually able to complete that moment with one game left, so if I didn't get the hits in that one, I would have had another chance. This next one, we are going to be uh, trying to get three consecutive extra base hits with the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks players. However, I think some of these cards are indeed boosted. 
I'm not sure if they're boosted through inside edge or just boosted through these moments. That's another good tip as well. Some of the times you will be going up against cards that are affected by inside edge. Like in the first one, I uh, was going up against the Yankees. Some of those players are playing down on inside edge. That's also going to help you. I recommend trying to get those moments completed as quickly as possible before the inside edge changes. But at the same time, later on in the season, when it's all said and done, it will be completely gone and you'll be going up against the live series stock player, if that makes sense. So anyway, I was able to get this mission completed, I think on the second try, hit back to back to back consecutive doubles into the gap there. And those hitters do have a decent amount of power. So that mission is not as hard as you would think. This next one is you have to tally 12 bases in one game. Actually, it's 10 bases. 10 bases in one game with Albert Pujols. He, uh, in, in this actual moment where he completed this task in real life, he did hit three home runs. So that would have been uh, 12 bases in total. I did read that in the missions. But uh, the first at bat, I think, is the most important one. You really want to try and knock out a home run. They're going to give you a Mike Miner on the mound. You will have uh, two guys on base. Try and hit that three-run homer and put yourself in a good position to complete this moment. Even if you get out on the second at-bat like I did, you're still able to have a few more at-bats in the game, and you will have the majority of the bases taken care of early on. So I have a couple more left. I figured instead of restarting, I'm a home run and a single away from completing this, so I will have, uh, I'll need five bases. I did hit the home run there, so I'm one hit away from completing this, and it also depends how many at-bats you get. I, in this one, I got six at-bats. Depends on how many runs are scored in the game, obviously. I mean, 12 runs scored by the Cardinals. I'm player locked as Albert Pool, so I don't have any control of that. But it is going to allow me to get more at-bats in the game. So keep that in mind as well. Not every moment is the same, and you are able to get more at-bats in some games than others. In this one, I think it is uh, collect nine hits, a couple extra base hits, and um, tally a few home runs as well. So the, the home runs all obviously count as extra base hits. It's important to get those out of the way early on. This is a multiple game series mission for Willie Stargell as well. And I really enjoyed using this Willie Stargell. I mean, I've never used this card. Uh, first time trying him out. I know it's against the computer, but I did really like his swing. I mean, he has a pretty similar swing to Griffey. I was able to hit a few home runs consecutively. And that is important because it allows me to just focus on the regular base hits with Willie Stargell. I don't necessarily have to power swing as well as a lot of these pitchers that I'm going to be facing don't really have the best overall, the best uh, hits and Ks per nine. This one right here was just a regular X swing. It was a pitch above the zone and I swung early enough and was able to hit it out with Willie Stargell. A couple of these balls just really carried, it just depend, depended on the game, depended on the hit. Uh, some of them were fly outs to the warning track, some of them were line drives right to the outfielders. But uh, some of them also were extra base hits. I'm glad that they uh, went away from just pure home runs in these moments. They made it a little bit easier by just allowing you to get extra base hits as well as home runs. So I thought that that was pretty cool. Uh, launched a few out, though, with Willie Stargell. will probably hit the best with this card overall. But uh, once again, these, most of these are regular X swings. A couple of them are power swings when I'm trying to... Uh, if I'm in the hitter's count, if I'm trying to uh, get a good pitch over the middle of the plate and smack it over their head or something like this was a power swing, lefty, lefty. I was trying to knock a couple base hits to finish off this last part of the mission. Also, some of these pitches were over the plate. So I'm trying to uh, react to what the pitcher is throwing me, even though it is the computer. Uh, if you notice, uh, most of these pitches that I'm sw swinging at and squaring up, are over the middle. I'm not trying to swing at anything outside the zone. Oftentimes, I find myself uh, swinging at the first pitch after completing something that I need to if I get over aggressive in ways like that. But in this last moment, we will be uh, trying to make a comeback down by 10 runs on all-star difficulty against the Padres. So this is something where you're going to be using your Diamond Dynasty team as well. I recommend putting all the Signature Series players that you have in your lineup. It's not going to mess your stats up just because you are playing this moment. It doesn't necessarily accumulate Diamond Dynasty stats. So if you're worried about messing up your online stats, then don't be afraid. You go ahead and use the best hitters you got. I recommend a lot of lefties. At the same time, if you get to the bullpen early, I was able to score a few runs. Didn't quite get to the bullpen yet. If you do get to the bullpen, they're probably going to probably gonna bring in a right-handed reliever first, possibly Brad Hand, uh, someone like that. They might mix it up, depending on your lineup build as well. So keep that in mind. Also, I recommend using some speed on your bench. 
even though you're down by 10 runs, the opponent is not really thinking that you're going to steal. The computer is uh, less likely to get, like throw a pitch out or something down by 10 runs. You will be able to get on base, steal second, and even possibly third to set yourself up for a sack fly or uh, a big inning, if that makes sense, by getting some guys on, manufacturing some runs that way. Uh, the most important thing in this one is try and get a couple runs in the first inning. You do start as the away team. You start up at the plate, so that's awesome. You do get a chance to kind of try and chip away at the deficit before having a chance to pitch. You don't really have to waste a lot of time there if by pitching three outs and then uh, trying to hit and score. If you don't score a couple runs in the first inning, just go ahead and restart. You'll be right back up at the plate once again. In this situation, I had to bring out all the stops against the computer. I did end up giving up a run, so that's why it's 13 to 13. I was able to tie the game up. I used my entire bench and everybody on there to try and uh, piece it together. I was down to my last out. I was able to clutch it up and end up hitting a, a game-winning hit with Billy Wagner. Uh, that wasn't the walk-off. Obviously, I had to get the last three outs, but I was able to finish off this mission. I ended up scoring 11 runs in the last two innings and uh, taking the lead there. So I scored quite a bit of runs in this one. I will go ahead and have the packs opened for the remainder of this video, but I did also unlock the Jim Edmonds card along with this Home Run Derby Choice Pack. So let's go ahead and get into some of these rewards. We have five regular uh, show packs here from that bundle. We also have two headliner packs, set 12 and set 16, as well as two player of the month packs and a Home Run Derby pack. So definitely some solid rewards for just completing six moments. And the moments weren't even that difficult, I don't think. I think that some of them re will require a few tries. It probably took me about an hour and a half or so and then a little bit of time to make this video. I did not start right when they dropped the stuff either, so that might give you guys some uh, some feedback on that. But I don't expect to get anything out of these headliner packs. We have a chance to get Dennis Eckersley and I believe one other player, Lou Brock, I think it is, and then Willie Stargell and then Benito Santiago. So two different uh, set headliner packs. I think that that's really awesome that they gave you those. I don't really buy them. But in this one, okay, we get a diamond round here. I think that uh, that's a little bit more rare, right? In the May in the May pack, I think that it's a little bit more rare to get the diamond, even though they're not going for a lot of stubs. I'll go ahead and select the Derek Dietrich just because he's a really good power hitter. If I'll, I'll use him for an event or something like that. Not the best luck in the second one. We do get a gold card in the second player of the month pack for June. I'll go ahead and take Jordan Yamamoto and... Uh, Go ahead and open up this home run derby pack. We get Pete Alonzo, so that is really nice. I'll go ahead and select him. I already have this Pete Alonzo card, but it is the best one and probably the hardest one to pull out of this pack. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully I helped you out with a lot of the moments and hopefully you're able to complete moments extreme. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on part two, but until next time everyone, peace out.